Onivia, League of Legends highlights. ...option here against the FLES Lulu Twisted Fate. Dive potential if they get first Herald like they did last time. Um, but my favorite thing about this Twisted Fate pick is for me, Horus has always been in the LCK. Most Twisted Fate is not going to be able to go as oh. fast as Talia. There's the dash forward as Johnny does manage to get himself a Gravitum. There is the Polymorph onto the Lucian here as well as on Fleek. He's trying to be tricky. Vickler as well, a little bit caught out, but First Blood once again goes to aiming and life is just flashing on top of them. There are the circles. Johnny's going to be thrown back and this time, let's just make it a double. And I don't understand the reasoning. Oh, yeah. Okay, Rascal is in a whole lot of trouble. And uh, yeah, Chani's going to visit him here. And Rascal's just going to give himself over to Chani as the lone killer of so this the city. Once again, first turret going over to Honda Life Esports. I believe there's still two plates down on the bottom side. So they will get first turret blood again. But it's not phase. He was absolutely destroyed, but this could certainly be a bit backbreaking. Is Tidal Wave once again going to be absolutely majestic as it does basically nothing? And aiming is just going to come on over. Alcove Gaming is going to be the bane of Harmer Life Esports one more time as Vista gets um, over in, in the mid lane. Bickler with the Still Soul Summoners and will move back there as well. They secure this one. It's going to be an Ocean second, Soul. The final plate and oh. the turret. Will he get it? Will he get it? One, one second. There it is. Beautifully done. He was teasing us. Hit he was. Yeah. And uh, Weaver's Wall gets some value here. Not going to lead to a kill, but we'll force a flash. Karas yeah. going to switch that to a heal. Um, not as impactful. Well, Cuz going to get knocked up here as Trundle may need to use the Subjugate and he is just going to go down before he can even do anything. Big Nah there from Sudo, but not quite able to get too much done. Aiming Calibrum Q comes through from Chani and they execute the Lucian. Karis locks down the Talia as well as Rascal's desperately trying to get away. The Boomerang so incredibly close, but not close enough still. KT lose out on the fight and Hanwha should be able to get Shirley. And so all of that money that Chani picked up on the top side of the map actually matters now because now he picks up an additional kill here is going to be pretty far uh, up in terms of gold. I think is is now probably evened up the gold between him oh, and Oh dear. Aiming. He's Drop that Herald. Yeah. <laughs> Drop that Herald. Oh no. Well, on Fleek's real dead. Um I don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh, sometimes you go for the hero play. You do manage to secure a turret, but you lose a Drake, and there's no fighting left available because there's no smite. Uh, yeah, he is seen. Boomerang steal? Wolf? Boomerang uh, steal? We've seen it before, you and me. Boomerang. This is not it, though. Uh. I like how he throws it after the <laughs> notification comes. KT just K-ramming right now. And as they should, they just want to siege up this turret, take it out here, remove some... Whoa, stuff. the fade away! There's the seismic shove as well. Tidal wave is beautiful, but Dudu survives for such a long time. Cyclone clone into the back line for On Fleek, but honestly, there's no follow-up, and he has to just drift away as Karis. Not going to get picked out by the seismic shove, but does move himself out of position. Gold card connects onto aiming. He's not going to cleanse it, because he was with the safety of his team, and now it looks like KT will get their prize. Yep. Then finally, they get the Siege to succeed after they end up fishing with the Talia, grabbing a kill. They have the follow-up CC with the Nami, and that's all it takes. So it's really not going to be a thing. This is another one of those things that we were talking about that uh, you cannot cleanse. And that is, of course, the Pillar. As Weaver's Wall comes on through, uh, Vikla just going to follow the Tidal Wave down. Karis going to be picked off with that Seismic Shove. Not dead just yet. But Harmalife Esports just taking all of the poke damage that KT will deal out towards them. Rascal's still so healthy as once again. It's going to connect as Vickler flashes the wall just to lock down the kill onto the Wukong. That ward sees him. That ward just to the left of the wall there. KT see all, Wolf. Look at all these wards here. Like, there's nowhere that you are as Harmalife Esports where you're not seen. Like, on one hand, it's an impressive seismic shove from Vickler, but on the other hand, it's really not that impressive when you consider he just literally could see on Fleek and can pull him. Um, and, and anybody who comes nearby. Yeah, it's just picked up the Ocean Soul. They're not worried about what their health bar is doing, but they are going to back away. 
as, yeah, on fleek just gets caught out as aiming. Oh, doesn't actually manage to get the engage. He flashes, gets knocked up by the second part of the Cyclone, though. And that is so much damage now missing. Vickler as well is frontlining. He's just going to get taken down as KT. They throw it all away. Who got excited? Yeah, that's the question. Well, on fleek is just ready to punish a Gale Force forward. Aiming is looking for an aggressive move there. They turn on him, Cyclone catches him. He has no way out. And Cleanse is useless versus Cyclone because you're just going to get hit by the second. You're going to get hit by it immediately afterwards. Does end up getting going down here, and that's the end of that. So that's just straight up a Baron into Han Wipe Esports uh, into their pockets. A lot of extra gold. And both got Teleport to try and get back into this fight afterwards as well, as Weaver's Wall is going to try and deny Hanwha, and KT will try and rush this one down. They're doing a lot of damage to it. Cuz off to the backside, Dudu makes his way back in, but now it's an Elder Drake on KT, and Hanwha have decided, oh wait, 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 we don't want this after all. Another seismic shot, Dudu is addicted to them, as on Fleek's gonna get eaten by a dragon in the form of aiming. And now Vikla is looking to surf his way over and tidy up the rest. Just they help them kill the Elder faster. Yeah. Because uh, they have no vision, they have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I haven't really noticed too many of uh, Johnny's later game uh, ultimates really working out whatsoever. He's now got three and a half items, but Baron and KT are very capable of taking down. And now, with all of this control, it's only a thousand gold in the lead. But honestly, Hammer Life Esports' composition was kind of teetering anyway, because Twisted Fate comps really do kind of need to be ahead before they're super. Uh, valuable, especially with the build that he goes currently. Not going to be offering too much damage here for Hanwha. Does offer so much map control, though, if you do manage to create leads. They did have some moments, but honestly, not enough. As Vikla looks for another shove, but just does the classic Talia thing, where KT will guarantee themselves this bottom inhibitor turret. The inhibitor will stay alive for now, as Rascal CC'd for a while. Doesn't seem to care too much about it nor about that house flying past his whiskers. Cause is pushing mid, they don't have to stick around here. Could just yeah. force Hanwha to go mid and then then they'll take the inhibitor. Like they're gonna get one of these no matter what. Oh no, on fleek immediately gonna get stifled as aiming just flashes out of the way. Moonlight Vigil once again sails by majestically but does zero, zero impact in this fight. Dudu now fighting towards the top side but Vikla is just frontlining and his Q remember is just culling just little cullings over and over again, doing so much damage here as Hanwha. No access to this fight whatsoever. KT will get a teleport from the Sejuani to make sure that they can get free damage onto this Nexus turret as well as Karis. Gonna take a lot of damage there from aiming, but he doesn't complete the kill. Dudu now back onto the fountain for another go as the Lulu is just gonna get knocked up and so much health just gonna be ripped away from him. The Nexus though is going to be the first priority here as Hanwha will lose this series 0-2 and KT make it three in a row. Yeah.